Good morning, children. Today we are here with uh, our new poem, that is poem number three, the set from NCERT test book, class seventh English, Honey Comb. Today we will discuss about uh, this poem. The set is the poem written by Frank Flynn, a great composer, songwriter, author. and a drummer in or- orchestra uh, the word poetry originates from a greek word meaning to make a poet is thus a maker and the poem something that is made or created do you think or what do you know about a shed is for example we can see a cow shed a tool shed a wood shed could be kept tools grains animals furniture vehicles or insects so it's a small room away from the main house for storing or keeping things animals tools or vehicles etc so let's we move on to the poem and what the poet wants to describe among us through this poem let's we move see the poem shed written by famous poet writer as well as composer Mr Frank Flynn see here a short sketch or biography of the poet Frank Flynn was a great composer songwriter author and drummer in orchestra including those of uh, Rudy Valley Freddie Martin and Tommy and Jimmy Dorsey in 1941 he became a liquor salesman he joined ASCAP in 1956 and his popular song compositions include outside and she is a very good friend of a friend of a friend of a friend of mine here we can see the famous books uh, written by frank flynn northern gateway and don't put god in a box see here is a picture of a shed different types of sheds we can see through this picture this is a garden shed this poem explains a shed a shed is a small room away from the main house for storing or keeping things animals tools vehicles etc etc The poet explains about the shed he has at the bottom of his garden. The shed is very old with the spiders hanging on the rusty doors. The sound of creaks should be heard by the poet in his bedroom. The shed is usually a place which is near a courtyard or outside of a courtyard. In the very first stanza, the uh, young child is talking about a shed in his garden. Poem starts with the uh, um, with uh, child conversation, like uh, talking about the creepy shed at the uh, downside near the house or the bottom of the garden at the end of the garden, with the spider webs hanging across the doors. Let's we move on and uh, continue our poem. See here first we can see what is exactly the shed a simple roofed structure used for garden storage to shelter animals or as a workshop it could be a house shed a tool shed a wood shed and uh, we'll keep or uh, we are keeping things like tools grains animals or furniture or the vehicles what the poem is about 
The poem is about the shed, which is a small room away from the main house. It is located at the bottom of the poet's garden. His brother threatens him by saying that a ghost stays in the shed, who hides himself under the rotten floorboards, who may jump and attack on the poet. In fact, there is no ghost inside the shed. So, uh, his brother tries to uh, develop the feeling of scariness means feeling of fear you always uh, try to use uh, or uh, uh, to make them uh, fear of uh, not to go to uh, near the said here is your poem the shed let's we recite the poem just you open your test book let's see in the very uh, first stanza, uh, what the poet uh, wants to describe among us. That is, first of all, we keep in mind that, uh, uh, mm, describe the shed, what you look for. Think about what it, make it all, uh, see the picture and uh, try to write few of the sentences about shed. What are the, what are its features? See, here we can see. Mm. A shed is a small room away from the main house for storing or keeping things, animals, tools, vehicles, etc. Here is a poem. We get the description of shed at the bottom of the garden with a spider's web hanging across the doors. The poet could listen the creaking sound of the rusty hinges. He has a desire to open the door one day. The poet talks about a dusty old window around the side with three cracked panes of glass. And he feels that there's someone staring at him each time that he passes by. One day he desires to peep through the window. He has a curiosity to go inside this shed and want to observe what are the inside they said but his uh, his brother always tried to uh, make them fear of that you uh, you not to go there there was a ghost so he always trying to use to develop uh, fearness among or scariness among uh, the poet but he has a curiosity to see he has a curiosity to see the wondersome whatever uh, is inside the said and he used to think that uh, one day definitely uh, he will go near this side or inside this side to the peep a window. See, here we can see the picture of a web. Hanging webs here, uh, new word introduced, we have seen in the poem. So, this is a web, example of web made by a spider or spider web. Here is a word game hinge. What it means by a movable joint or mechanism or which a door gate or lid swings as it opens and closes or which connects linked object. This is a joint. We can see this is it is it helps to move a door. It's a joint mechanism. So a movable joint or mechanism or which a door gate or lid swings as it opens and closes or which connects linked objects so here we can see the example of hinges so here a word came rusty hinges see the example of rusty hinges it's an example of joints which is used to connect two of the wooden things Here is a next stanza of a poem. There is a dusty old window around the side with three cracked panes of glass. I often think there is someone staring at me each time that I pass. I will peep through the window one day. My brother says there is ghost in the shed who hides under the rotten floorboards. And if I ever dare to set foot inside, I will jump out and chop off my head. But I will take a peek one day. 
I know that there isn't really a ghost. My brother tells lies to keep that said for his den. There isn't anyone staring or making strange noises. And the spider has been gone from his web since I don't know when I will go into the said one day, one soon. But not just yet. So here, uh, then the poet talks about his uh, his brother. His brother says there's a ghost in the said who hides under the rotten floorboards, and if the poet even dares to set foot inside, he will jump out and chop off poet's head. But the poet does not believe so. He wants to have a peek one day. He has a dare. He wants to go inside and he didn't want to listen what his brother says to him about a ghost inside the set. He has a curiosity to go inside the set. In the last stanza, the poet says that there isn't really a ghost. His brother tells lies to keep the set for his den. There isn't anyone staring or making strange noises and the spider has been gone from his web. And he does not know when he is determined to go into the shed one day. Still, he was thinking about to go inside the shed one day. So, that was the summary of the poem and might be <coughs> you have understand the concept after that we can see uh, the new words uh, came in this poem and uh, its meaning here uh, we can see few of the examples like uh, if we can see the picture of a shed uh, different uh, state of minds and different uh, type of questions raised in our mind that uh, what type of the said was or is how we can describe suppose if you are having a picture of a said you have to describe few lines on it and by using uh, describing words like specified scary isolated spacious and so on. Let's move on. Here is a word creak came. A harsh scrapping or squeaking sound. Here is an example of cracked windows. Window glasses. How it li looks. Let's see. See. Here is an example of dusty old window. Not cleared from a long time. Floorboards. One of the long straight pieces of wood used to make a floor. See word meaning rested on go the support of probably perhaps bumped hit poles bamboo sticks dusty covered with full or of or resembling dust. Pavilion, here the word means said. Thank you, children.